Muy buenos dias. Mr. President, Felipe Calderon, Secretary of Agriculture, Francisco Javier Mayorga, <clears throat> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly a great honor to welcome you to CIMIT on this special occasion when President Calderon will make the official launch of the project, the sustainable modernization of traditional agriculture called Mas Agro. I am very pleased to see so many representatives from the public and private sectors, from national and international organizations who are actively involved in agriculture research and development. You are making valuable contributions to public policies, improved seed, sustainable production practices, and the marketing systems required for Mexico to tackle its food security challenges. CIMIT is an international research center that was built, that has built a strong friendship with the people of Mexico over the past 50 years. Its mission is to sustainably increase the productivity of maize and wheat systems to ensure global food security and reduce poverty. Our most renowned <clears throat> scientist, Dr. Norman Borlaug, won the Nobel Peace Prize and the Aztec Eagle in 1970 for his work with Mexican farmers and institutions to start a revolution that made Mexico self-sufficient in food in the 1970s and saved hundreds of millions of people from famine in South Asia. CIMIT also has the responsibility to conserve the world's maize and wheat biodiversity <clears throat> in the world's most important seed collections for these crops. The president toured this gene bank a few moments ago. CIMIT belongs to a network of 15 international agriculture research centers called the CGIAR, Consultative Group on International Agriculture Research, based in the World Bank. Our staff include more than 130 world-class researchers from 40 countries working in more than 20 offices around the world. Together with thousands of partners, many institutions, including here in Mexico. In Mexico, over 300 graduate students have conducted thesis research at CIMIT's research stations. And we've worked with thousands of your farmers all over the country to introduce sustainable farming practices and improve varieties. Many of you already know that the demand for food is growing faster than the production of maize and wheat. As rising prices of food indicate, the world is entering a perfect storm of challenges to global food security. These challenges include rapidly increasing demand for food from population growth, from changing diets to meat, to oil, etc. It also is because of rising prices and depletion of natural resources like oil and phosphorus fertilizers. It is from falling water tables. For example, here at El Batan, it's falling one meter per year. And from urban rural competition for surface water. And because of soil degradation and erosion. But especially because of climate change that is driving heat, drought, and extreme weather events even such as the weather you had this winter in Sonora. We are, we are clearly seeing the effects of climate change and its impact on grain supplies and prices. After events like the drought in Russia, where Russia stopped the export of wheat, and the terrible floods in Pakistan that occurred at the same time, Unfortunately, Mexico is no stranger to catastrophic weather events and is in fact considered among the countries at most risk from climate change, 
India and Mexico are going to be most impacted by climate change. Indeed, studies suggest that climate change could reduce Mexico's farm output by 25% by 2050, unless new, more productive, and resource efficient practices are adopted. Because of the increasing concern over global food security, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and the World Bank have recently urged action by governments to enable their farmers to grow at least 75% of the grain their inhabitants consume. Mexico is now falling below that level to reach, especially in wheat. It is now only 50% of your needs. As part of a new global strategy to sustainably increase the productivity of maize and wheat farming systems and address the challenges of food security and climate change, CIMIT and Mexico today renew our commitment to global food security on, with our Mass Agro partnership. As examples of the fruits of this partnership, we expect to use cutting edge technology to find useful traits in our seed collections to help develop robust, high yielding varieties for the future. Such as and CIMIT will also be leveraging our research from other projects around the world, such as on drought tolerance, water and nitrogen use efficiency, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And we will make these advances available to Mexico. We are very cognizant of the important responsibilities we assume as a coordinating organization for Masagro and we want to work in close collaboration with Mexican institutions. This is a complex challenge that no single institution can undertake on its own. We want to make joint decisions, learn from your experience in the field, reaffirm the trust that you have given to us. Mexico should be very proud of its inspired sponsorship of this project. You should take every opportunity to boast about its significance, including at ven venues such as G20, which will be coming to Mexico next year. The challenges are massive. They are horrendous that we face in food production. But this project is very ambitious and has potential to significantly contribute to solving this problem. This project is a model for the world. Muchas gracias.